My name is Tim Greer, and I'm a gasaholic. I really don't want you to feel sorry for me. This is not the life that I dreamed of. When I was a kid, I always dreamed of being the band. I was living in a lap of luxury, and then I got on the Queen King. I really don't know how I started down this path, but the next thing you know, I absolutely lost everything. We've got a long way to go, and all it took was going to one race, and I was hooked on the Queen King. I had the biggest double wide in Fingerville. I had every car you could imagine. In Myrtle Beach, I even lost reverse. But now I can say, I am the owner of the world's fastest gasser or rambler in Roebuck, South Carolina. I bought this car thinking it was a gasser until Queen seen it. And little did I know that I just had a pretender. It was not really a gasser. It was a pretender. I bought this car because it had a straight axle in it and I thought I had a gasser. Come to find out the only thing I didn't change was well, a straight axle in the front. <laughs> My gasser story started. I found this Rambler on the uh, internet. It was in Ohio. I drove up there in the snow, picked it up, thought it was right, and brought it back here till, it, till Queen seen it. And uh, the very first thing that he wanted to change was the wheels. They was not period correct wheels. The carburetor was chrome. I wouldn't allow that. He wanted me to change the steering wheel. And I really didn't understand why in the beginning, but I listened, paid attention. If I was gonna have a period correct gasser, I had to have a period correct gasser. So over the, I, let's just say three months and off season in the winter time, I actually drove the Rambler around and collected parts while I was driving it. What got me started on this is I had a motor and transmission to go in a car that, um, that I used at the beginning of the season, but I had an automatic transmission, and obviously the automatic transmission wasn't going to work. I got to, uh, the car that I bought came with a Saginaw transmission, and it wasn't going to work. So um, I had to go see about getting a, a uh, stronger transmission, so I went to Hightower and got me a transmission. Cut the front end off the car. It came with aluminum radiator. I had to paint the radiator. I went and bought a tunnel ram, two full barrels. Then later on in the season, like I said, at Myrtle Beach, I changed the um, motor, put a more powerful motor in, and, and that was pretty much the end of the 2016 season. Uh, let me ask you a question. Do you think that guys over six foot tall should get some kind of weight break? Well, it takes longer. It takes longer for the for the message to get to the left foot. Because I've noticed, you know, with you, with you, your brother, your nephew, the Birch brothers, y'all real good on the light. And I think it's got something to do with with me being taller than y'all. So you admitting that I'm right. Well, I'm gonna bring it up at the next meeting if you don't mind. This was my rookie year with the Southeast Gassers, and I'll be the first to say I had a lot to learn. I really thought that I knew a lot about cars, but all I knew was absolutely nothing. I thought the motor that I had was a big motor. Come to find out, I had a glorified street motor. My first season, I went almost to the end of the season without ever making it to the second round. Pretty embarrassing. But I hung in there and learned. But then I purchased a motor from um, Jason Wade. 
that was actually a motor built by Bobby McAllister. And little did I know that this motor was a real motor. I actually came home with a frame twisted from Myrtle Beach. Couldn't hold it in the lane, about run over the camera. But I learned a lot that day. I found out what real horsepower was all about. All I can say is, it took me one season to get all the bugs out. I twisted the frame, Myrtle Beach, took it back to Jason Wade, he straightened it all out for me. I went to Greer and was the fastest qualifier there. So all I got to say to y'all C-Class boys is I'm about to take it to your 2017. I guess the fastest car I ever owned before this one was a 1985 Mustang GT that um, Fred Campbell built a motor in. Um, street car, I was a kid, had nitrous. I remember my daddy going apy because I put a nitrous bottle in the bathtub to heat it up. Uh, he thought I was gonna blow the house up. Little did he know it was just laughing gas, but I did win the race that night against Brian Neal. Brian Neal's the guy's name. Yeah. I love high tower transmissions. I'm not looking for sponsorship, but I will let you know, I do love a high tower transmission. This is the first of a series of meet the gassers. Meet the Southeast gassers. Next week, we'll be going to my arch rivals, the Birch Brothers. Word is on the street, the Jerry Birch is very hard to beat. Now I will say these was qualifying rounds, but twice he has been outrun by the Roebuck Rambler, Bonafide. Once in Myrtle Beach and once in Greer. Beware of the Rambler. We ain't scared of no free bird. We ain't scared of no free bird. Do you understand? We really don't want to say nothing about Rusty. You know, Rusty, I love Nanners. I ain't got nothing bad. I ain't got nothing bad to say about Rusty. This right here, this right here, is a 2017 champion. We got that clear.